So what's going on Call of Duty refugees today a lot of people are upset man in other words people are mad people are angry right now with Activision because Activision has been caught sucking BBCs they're doing helicopters with their willies and the and I got a, I got a video that I want to share with you guys I don't think you are ready for that one fellas this is absolutely ludicrous right now bro there are gonna be so many plot twists in this video that I don't think you guys are ready quite frankly like the video if you love your mama like the video if you love God like the video if you do not cheat in video games Shout out to the homie Swag. Check this out. Roll it. Call of Duty made a huge mistake. And honestly, this might be one of the biggest mistakes I've seen in years since I've been here. I've been playing Call of Duty for at least 12 years. And to see this kind of mistake that they've made is absolutely critical. So let me catch yeah, you guys up to speed yeah, yeah. real quick. So if okay. you don't know, in the last couple months, there's been a couple of streamers who have been banned, perma banned. Not couple, a lot of them. A lot of them. But, but it's a fact, though. Wait for it, guys. There are a lot of plot twists. If you think you know a twist, well, get ready. After that twist, there's going to be another twist, though. And have gotten just a lot of flack for it. More recently is going to be Bobby Poff, who's a streamer who was recently permabanned, and he didn't really know why he got permabanned. Now, did I ever think Bobby was cheating? I never thought he was actually cheating. I thought the scenario was that somebody played on his account, had hacks, and he got banned for it because he let someone, like, level up his camels and stuff like that. Then, yesterday, what had happened was Bobby got unbanned. His main account that got permabanned got unbanned, and everyone was like, wait, what? Like, I saw a lot of the internet kind of tweaking out and you know the hack nah, uh, the the internet was not just tweaking out the internet was like bro like you know what i mean like th this was the internet all right after bro like the internet was not having it man the internet was not just tweaking out brother community that the hacker hunter community they've made like nine ten videos on bobby they've probably made thousands of dollars and those videos have gotten like 70 80 000 views per and what happened was bobby poff got unbanned and then call of duty Ooh, came out with a statement no. this was the craziest part now this is the plot twist number one guess what there's another one oh, shit. Oh, there's another one that i will show you that i will actually get down to because the homie batman bad boy beeman actually came forward as well and, and right after you know the homie bobby pov got unbanned he was banned so people were like hey you were cheating right you were cheating and in videos we were reacting to it and you know us bringing the idea of false positives i still would like to believe in the idea of false positives but of course like activision said that all the the bands are final you know when we ban suckers we ban suckers okay that means that you were 100 cheating but then they unbanned him right after and that's why now a lot of people were like okay and i saw call of shame i saw bad boy beeman they called out bobby Pov, understandably and then they apologize as well so big on them for that they apologize uh, about the fact that uh, that you know th that they were promoting the idea of bobby cheating and whatnot so they apologize but apparently now there's another plot twist to it that i'll show you in a second it's like i don't know man it, it seems quite weird though but wait for it they admitted they admitted that they made a mistake or at least their anti-chief failed in a sense so basically they came out and made a statement that said ricochet anti-chief identified and disabled a workaround to a detection system in the mw3 in warzone that impacted a small number of legitimate player accounts we have restored we all accounts that were impacted and examination of and right after this one, like a lot of uh, known cheaters, they started using this as a crutch. They were like, nah, man, like I, I was also banned. Uh, you know, they banned me because I was a good player. It is just a mistake. It is just a glitch. I mean, bro, with Activision, nothing works, bro. It Nothing works. But wait for it. There's another plot twist. Of our system was conducted for safety and monitoring will continue. Bumble so basically what they said was there was an exploit where a person could work around the ricochet and get legitimate players accounts banned like actually perma banned this is a mistake for so many different reasons man like it ruins trust from every single angle true, from the call true, of the community true. let's just go off the perspective of the people who are banned like wrongfully banned perma banned bobby paw for example the hacker hunter community probably made 25 videos on him dragged his name through the mud there's probably thousands of people who automatically now think he hacks because they've seen those videos the true, damage has true. already been done it's like the same thing right when bobby poff went crazy like uh you remember this clip right you yeah this one holy damn 18 inch bro 18 inch that that is wild bro like that 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 that, that, that that's crazy right so that was the original bobby paul fast forward to now got banned and then unbanned so that's like the new story
Yeah, that's the new story. But there's another plot twist afterwards, though. So. But now, Call of Duty announces a workaround, but there's no apology, like, towards Bobby at all. Like, Call of Duty is kind of radio silent on, on him, and he's affected by this permanently. So he just spent two weeks getting his name dragged through the mud, and Call of Duty hasn't came out and said, yo, like, we messed up. Like, there's no apology for Bobby at all. And Man, like, those suckers are never gonna apologize, though. Like, while you're seeking, yo, swag, you seeking apology for the homie Bobby, which is, which is fine. I get that, I get that, but while you're seeking that, bro, they might cut your, they might cut your uh, shies too, bro. Then you might be looking like this after the fact. They might stop inviting you, bro. Like, duh, yeah, slow, slow your rolls, papi. Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo. Tranquilo. And it sucks, man, because it's also like, what can you trust from the Ricochet system? Nothing. If someone's Nothing. banned, were they actually cheating? And it's crazy because if you look at it from this perspective, right, they found a workaround. <laughs> ah! Okay, so he is showing the call of shame. So this is a call of shame intro of the homie Swag where Swag is like, I never even heard of a radar hack. And Swag once did say that he never heard of a radar hack. And of course, the homie Space Swag is also accused of doing the... You know, you know what I'm saying, right? Bruh. He's also accused of that. He's accused of juicing, tweaking, but uh, not necessarily doing the hardcore uh, cheats though, but... Of Ricochet. And they got legitimate players banned. But on Damn. Warzone ranked in the top 250, Damn. there's a hundred players who are hacking, obviously hacking in there, and they're not banned. So it's Fast. like, where are the priorities in all, all of this? I, I'm so confused. But like I said, this also ruins it from a casual's perspective because a lot of people can be playing and get banned and say, yo, I was wrongfully banned. So not mm -hmm. everything in the air is a toss up. Mm -hmm. Who's legit, who's not. Who knows? And then just yesterday, there was a $30,000 Warzone tournament and half of the players got shadow banned. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you yeah. a, an update. The homie let Z? Me. The homie Z later? Oh, oh. Yeah, Z later, of course, uh, always is accused of cheating as well. And there were some crazy clips that the homie Bob, uh, the, the homie Bo uh, Bad Boy Beeman, Call of Shame has been bringing up. Uh, nowadays, they don't necessarily, but back in the days, when I say back in the days, just like a few months ago, right? Let me give you a run through. There's currently a $30,000 Warzone 2v2 kill race taking place right now. And I, I think a majority of the players in this tournament, everyone except for people that are whitelisted with, uh, with uh, streamer mode plus, just got shadow banned and cannot load into a game and cannot continue to play this tournament. Folks, Call of Duty, when... Is enough going to be enough? Now, get ready for plot twist number two, and we're going to get back to it. So, you heard Bobby Pop getting banned, right? Then he got unbanned. Call of Shame issuing apologies. Bad bad Boy Beeman issuing apologies. And then this happens, okay? I want to show you this. Uh, shout out to the homie Ghost of It. Roll it. Anti-cheat Call of Duty. Totally 100% chalk. The, no one is being banned. Everyone is getting banned. And then everybody is getting unbanned. Anybody and everybody who's ever cheated in Call of Duty's account has somehow been unbanned. I have just had there we go. double checked on my Activision account, which was permanently banned back in September 28th, 2020, when engine owning got detected. And my account has now been on permabanned. That has happened since Activision so-called reversed and patched this exploit. I believe that they have unbanned every single account that has ever been banned in Call of Duty. That's correct. As you can see, Bad Boy Beeman, who was permanently banned, rightfully... Context. Bad, Bad Boy Beeman apparently cheated back in the days for signs. Okay, for signs. I mean, I'm just a messenger. That's what he said. That's what she said. Okay, so he used to be a cheater, but then became a hacker hunter, right? Hacker hunter after that. So what we're now finding out that even the actual people that cheated, that publicly said they cheated, and that publicly acknowledged and said that their accounts were also rightfully banned, they also got unbanned. Oh, shit. They also got unbanned. So everybody's like, hey, bro, so like, um, uh, does that mean that Bobby Pop got banned for real, for real? Or it was not for real, for real? Well, was he cheating? Was he not cheating? It wasn't a mistake. Was it not, mis not a mistake? Man, everybody's like just confused right now. Needless to say, bro, like everybody's looking like this, though. Everybody's like, hey, bro, like what's going on, dog? What's going on in the Call of Duty scene? Because <laughs> it, 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 it is just Joe over right now by the looks of it. All right, let's get back to it. And then there's another twist coming as well. Yeah, guys, another one. Wait for it. Real cheaters aren't getting bad. The legit good players are getting...
shadow banned on a regular basis, and now recently somewhat sometimes permanent banned. When are we gonna wake up and 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 just realize that Ricochet anti cheat is complete dog shit and does not work? And now this this whole thing it kind of feeds into that that like theory or like that hypothetical theory that people have that Activision is in cahoots with streamers. It kind of feeds into that. No cap. But like I said, that's why this no mistake okay. it hurts no from all angles the community, man. Because now it's who can you trust, who can you not, who's legit, who's not. And to be honest, man, if you I've known Bobby for a long time, I never thought he was cheating. Just watching, him, knowing him for years and knowing his character, I knew he wasn't cheating. I figured that maybe I, oh there was a yeah, like I known him for a while. All I know is that you know he just said damn you, Activision. Yeah, like all I know is like the 18 inch thing, right? But I don't, I don't think that's real. Maybe I'm a hater for not believing that, but I don't think a man got an 18 incher though. Like that's bigger than, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro, that- cut the, the way where cut someone cut. got on his account who was unlocking his camos and that guy was using hacks. That happened to a Warzone pro by the name of Zepti, I think. He oh. let someone level up his obsidian. The guy used hacks, got banned, and he got banned from World Series, which is- insane it's crazy because there's a group of people who were actually gonna file a class action lawsuit against like bobby and like other streamers who were caught like caught cheating for fraud because of like the donations and the tournaments that they played and the money that they've earned going through all that call of duty there's no apology like you there should be some sort of apology or some sort of accountability you got these guys about to go through a class action lawsuit because of the mistake that ricochet made and let me know in the comments if you guys any players in here that have been banned before or falsely shadow banned or falsely perma banned look i'm gonna be honest there's there are cheaters out there no question about it are there streamers that cheat for sure yeah of course but yeah, i'm telling you yeah. right now it's it's a very small percentage and I guarantee it's literally less okay. than 1% of any big streamer. I doubt any big streamer is cheating. Imagine if nah, bro. Like, most of the big streamers probably are. But okay, like, differences of opinions, that's fine. That's fine. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And that's the thing, though. You know, Bobby Puff also brought up the, Hey, man, I'm whitelisted. I'm whitelisted. How can I be banned? So the whitelist phenomena in the Call of Duty scene has been going around for a while. Seconds believe it, seconds don't believe it, okay? So either you believe it or you don't believe it. So when he brought that up, a lot of people were like, okay, so that confirms the whitelisting thing. And my point, the point that I'm trying to make is that a lot of the big streamers, they are in the whitelist they are in the whitelist for Activision, so they don't get banned. So it was quite odd this time to see Bobby Poff get banned as well. And you saw like the mask off, right? You saw Bobby Poff on stream was like, hey, bro, like I was, I was whitelisted, bruh. Like, how can I get banned? So we saw like, the, you're just privileged. We, ju we saw that live on the stream. Now he got unbanned, but now we're finding out that apparently uh, a lot of known cheaters, people that use cheats that were perma banned before, they also got unbanned. So, yeah, Swag is right. There's no trust. There is literally zero trust right now. <laughs> Bro, there's zero trust. If you weren't a streamer, right? Imagine if you weren't a person who had a voice or had a platform. If you're a casual player who gets banned, you're banned. what are you supposed to do? I think you just it's take over. the L. There's no way about it. Like, if you're a casual it's player over. and you get perma banned, you have no sort of voice. You kind of just go into the abyss and make a new account, I guess. And if you get hardware banned, you can't even play Call of Duty anymore. And it's crazy because yeah. in the past, previous statement from Activision when Ricochet was first under fire that it wasn't working or anything like that. Hey, was yo, what's that? No permanent account ban is false. Okay, so he's like putting up footage of uh, not him playing, but he's reacting to a cheater by the looks of it. Yo, man, you need to specify that because some sickers might believe that this is your gameplay swag. Also, in all permanent permanent bands are exactly that permanent which is just oh my god they just completely they like they, they literally just ruined that statement them coming out saying maybe i don't know that's a couple months ago they said all permanent bands are final yeah and then they come out and say there was a mistake i mean this is just nasty work and people just exploited it man ricochet was vulnerable and people exploited the system to ban accounts to ban innocent people's accounts which is wild and also a tweet came from parasite where he kind of speculated where he was banned then he got unbanned he said apparently the way the anti-cheat exploit worked is if an account named Triggerbot made it onto top 250 leaderboard it would save to everyone's game memory and everyone that played cod during that time would have been banned while oh, think, I'm glad it's fixed and actually being fixed. I don't know if that's true. Nah, man, I still don't want to believe it. Like, false positives bound to happen, though. False positive bound to happen. But yes, if Activision says that all banes are permanent, and then crap like this happened, then, I mean, it, it's kind of over. It's kind of over. Nah, I don't know what the scenario was on how there was a workaround, but the craziest part about this whole thing is, is that Call of Duty came out, made a statement, and said, yes, 
somebody found a workaround our anti-cheat and actually banned innocent accounts. And then Call of Duty came out with a statement what? today and said, what? Activision on the fan frustration with anti-cheat and Call of Duty. It says, we can't tell you cheaters will disappear forever because of the tech we're preparing for launch, but everyone at Team Ricochet will use every tool we can to keep fighting to deliver a fair and fun experience for you. And at the right- Stop the cap. Stop the cap though, man. This feels like GTA Online. Yo, cars flying. <laughs> cars flying, man flying. Bro, I swear to God, man. Sickers be lasering people. Not even the UFOs in the sky can laser people like this, bro. Not even the UFOs in the sky move like this, bruh. And guys, if you're into UFOs and conspiracies, bro, check out the second channel. Bruh. This is where we also upload every single day. Conspiracies, UFO content every single day. Check it out. Link in the pinned comment. Also, check out the Instagram. Follow on Instagram as well. Link in the pinned comment. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo-boo tool doesn't exist we'll make it ourselves anti-cheat is a constant effort we are always working to stay atop and thwart the efforts of cheaters it's an effort we're deeply committed to through and through i just feel like there needs to be some sort of through apology here you know okay. what i'm saying to bobby specifically or just anybody who's wrongfully banned apparently team ricochet says they are introducing new ai updates for the anti-cheat to increase speed at which cheaters can get be detected in game an update okay. on ricochet anti-cheat for black ops 6 activision their day one goal with black ops 6 is we want to catch and remove cheaters within one hour of them being in their first match which is actually really good okay. because okay. beforehand i feel like when i ran to a cheater i can get a ban pretty fast but in the last rank season man i was just getting cooked and these cheaters were not getting banned so cheaters can enjoy one hour of gameplay and then it's gonna be bumbo clad brothers bumbo -clad. then but but still though that's like he said she said i mean of course that's coming from activision but do you really want to believe them after what just happened bro like come on now man for how many years this cheating thing has been going on this cheating thing has been cheating Cheaters have been running rampant in Call of Duty. Like, <laughs> Call of Duty is infested with cheaters. I, I gotta say, the FPS scene is infested with cheaters. But Call of Duty is like the front and center. So it feels like that most of the cheaters are in Call of Duty. And that is true, though. Most of the cheaters are in Warzone, free-to-play, uh, PC, easily accessible. Probably is the best battle royale in terms of FPS right now. Uh, and, and yeah, man, it's uh, apparently super easy to cheat, man. So it's our juice in big time as well. I, I don't think they're gonna be able to solve it like that, though. Like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be negative here, but guys, let's be realistic about it. For how many years this has been going on? And they always say the same thing every, every time a new Call of Duty is about to drop, right? They say that, hey, guys, like with Black Ops 6, with Modern Warfare 2, with Modern Warfare 3 we're gonna fix it it's gonna be fine and then game comes out and it's like bruh, bruh. where like where <laughs> like where y'all at where y'all at bro like when 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 are y'all gonna fix it that's the thing though they always say it before they always say this before a new call of duty release and they were just sitting on the leaderboard forever all in all this is just such a big mistake and i just feel so bad for big. a guy like bobby who just got his name dragged to the mud and obviously there'll still be haters now where he'll get hate comments for being banned but like i said let me know in the yeah, comments yeah, if you yeah, guys yeah. have gotten wrongfully shadowed wrongfully banned now check this one out roll it so his account has been unbanned along with all the other known and proven cheaters and hackers it's hoppa who used to be a rage hacker before becoming a hacker hunter his account has been unbanned as well activision has to be smoking rock i just found out several hundred perma banned accounts of the same user from modern warfare are no longer banned for any cod title except modern warfare Bleh. 2019 what the fuck are we doing did they just say f it let the cheaters play black ops 6 2 and his account was also unbanned hopper that is i just mentioned so all these yeah, people who over. have been known cheaters and hackers in call of duty were all unbanned it is joel we fellows because of the situation that happened with all of these call of duty activision may or may not be paid shills and activision streamers otherwise known like bobby poff and all these people face swag and <laughs> yo <-o, laughs> etc etc dudes who've ever been banned or who have ever been shadow banned the answer was oh yeah hey guys it's ricochet anti-cheat made a mistake so we're yeah, just going to unban everybody mm. to change this and rectify the error Dude. Yeah, I'm not sure about the Nadia though, because uh, she was banned, but then she is now playing. Now she's playing with like a different accounts. Like they, they can always make new accounts. But I'm one, I'm wondering if her original account is now unbanned or not. Because yeah, you heard this right? Like she was banned. Nadia got banned. Nadia got banned. Biggest cheater alive got banned. <laughs> yeah, so we heard those stories too. I'm wondering if she got, uh, if she got unbanned or not. What the fuck is going on here, man? Like, is Call of Duty just done? Like, is it done? 
This is a catastrophe for anybody who knows what's going on. Unfortunately, a lot of people are not going to be privy to this information who aren't on social media, who are just regular dudes, who are just going to go and play Call of Duty and then wonder why their lobbies are completely chalked and filled with cheaters. Because there's another problem here that I haven't mentioned. All these dudes who've been cheating and have been hacking in the last you know five years and then they were banned. Five years. Well, their accounts now are reset because they haven't played for so long because they're such old... You heard him say this. You heard him. Five years, guys. This has been ongoing, of course, more than five years, but five years, bro! I swear to God, check out this video on the screen. This is the last cheater that got caught on stream. Check it out, and I'll see you right there, guys. Don't, don't miss that video.